Hi. Today, in chapter 3 of the PINDMD editor, I want to show you uh, some capabilities regarding the clipboard and also the new way, additional way, uh, to create a colorizing scene by using a sequence of hashes and a sequence of masks to get a better synchronization. So I've prepared again a little project where uh, that is based on Simpson Pinball Party and I would like to show you first a couple of things that is that are possible with a, a clipboard and um, the drawing tools. So for instance, um, if you like to uh, have um, colorization within um, this frame, we may cut this frame out. So we let the bus drive a little bit until here and cut a new scene. Let's call it bus and then do some color masking on that bus. So we can now choose to give the bus uh, a new color. Let's say uh, this yellow one or this type of color for instance. So there's two uh, additional points here, here, here and here. And so we can now use on the clipboard um, saving this uh, masking work using it in the next scene. That's not the right dot, this one. So just uh, pressing Ctrl C or using the menu, going to the next scene and then simply inserting the whole frame from the system clipboard. We can do a similar thing by um, using um, Control shift v that does a thing that is called paste over which will now give us the possibility to adjust the mask and moving it around the scene. In this place it's um, not very useful because the shape of the bus also has changed. So for now we may use this um, a mask not on the picture here and doing the recoloring by hand but as you can see it's also possible to move um, the pasted content around. What is uh, additionally possible is um, you can also switch to a different program like a normal drawing program and uh, drawing shapes on that uh, drawing program over here <clears throat> so let's say we want to um, put something in front of that bus, choosing also a color like this one, and then drawing something here. We can mark this in the normal drawing program, copying it to the clipboard, and then inserting it on the on the side of the pin to DMD editor. Same thing is true, you can also uh, inserting it by uh, Ctrl V and then it gets inserted it in one, you can move it and place it on the screen wherever you like. So as you may notice the color is not the same like the original color. Um, this has to do with, um, with the palettes so we now have here rather pink, which is not part of our palette for this scene here. 
and it always tries to approximate the color with the next color on the palette. So if you like to have this pink really we have in the drawing program, uh, we need to choose um, a similar color to be supported in our uh, palette as well. So again, we're going to insert this and now we have this color uh, available at least in color masking mode on a background that already has a plain one set. Depends on the, on the, on the colorization mode. So to give you an example, if I switch back to replacing mode, which you normally not should do, either you choose the one or the other, but just for demonstration purpose, I can now uh, insert this with the original color, even on the black background. Depends on um, the drawing mode over here. So these are um, things from the um, system clipboard I want to show you. And there's an, another improvement um, uh, compared to what I showed you last time. Um, regarding the, the preview D&D &D, uh, over here. So when you, whenever you have a keyframe that uses a mask um, like this one we had before because there's dynamic stuff into uh, the middle, middle area we, we choose to mask out. When I include the mask you see uh, it's only keyed on the left and the right side content. Then there is an update on the preview um, DMD over here. As you can see, every, it's only now showing what is already um, um, relevant, still relevant. So the masking content in the middle is not visible anymore. Now it's available without the mask. With the mask, it's, it's vanished. And what you also will notice when I click over the over the uh, step forward and step backward button. Indeed, the hashes uh, here on the left side um, will not change or does not change because um, uh, the hash is now only calculated for the relevant part of the picture, which excludes the dynamic content that is changing in the middle. So the hashes always will stay the same. Compared to without mask, at least uh, the um, hash for the second plane that has the blinking um, number display changes from frame to frame. So this makes it a little bit easier to choose uh, the right hash uh, and gives you also the possibility if you really have excluded anything that is changing from frame to frame. Just switch the mask on and it shows on the preview side what is relevant and what not. So last thing, last thing I will show you is um, a new way uh, to get a better synchronization for colorizing scenes. It's based on having a, a mask and a hash associated with this mask for each scene in the colorization sequence. I will show you how this works. Uh, again, we are using um, a recording from uh, Simpson Pinball Party and there is a scene in there that has um, a moving beer glass um, in front of a dynamic background. So you can see the background is uh, different all the time and also um, the beer glass is moving over the whole scene. So what you can do here to give um, the beer glass some color is doing the mask uh, frame by frame. And also hash then frame by frame, of course. This new mode is called color masking sequence. It's uh, the new introduced one. So what you need to do is, of course, you can again uh, colorize um, you are seen by doing color masking. For instance, in this place, we would like to 
colorize um, the contents of the beer glass like this so this is um, I think the first thing is missing Okay, now we are uh, using, <coughs> changing then additionally the color to give them the yellow a little more feel uh, like color, let's say like this. So now the masking, yeah, when you look at the, when you look at um, the moving scene, we can introduce a new mask for each scene. So when you put on the mask, then we simply want only match from scene by scene um, when um, the beer glass is moving. So we are drawing a mask exactly around the beer glass like this you can also use um, and of course again the clipboard to reuse the mask on the following frames so now we have the mask over here and additionally the foam on top. So this is for demonstration purposes only, so I will not spend too much effort to draw this exactly. Okay, so we have now a mask for the moving beer glass. I will copy the mask, <coughs> move to the next frame and insert the mask and putting it on top of the beer glass. Again, same mask. Next frame. Again, only the what needs to match is only the beer glass. Next frame. Uh, next frame. No, this was not good. We need to start over here. So now and so this is uh, then the masking for every uh, frame. <clears throat> and the mask is exactly only matching um, every time the, the, the beer glass alone, everything else uh, will be masked out. So this is also the way you need to set um, Uh, 
the hash code on the side, which is in this case we will always use <coughs> the, the first uh, plane that gives enough information for only uh, using the, the beer glass for now. So doing it this way, you have an exact synchronization from frame to frame because um, every time the, the image content changes, the hash matching is only done by um, matching the content um, that is left over when doing the masking before. So this is more or less uh, what I wanted to show and then have fun colorizing scenes. <laughs>